Hello, guys. Welcome to another session of AMC Artisan Masterclass. My name is Morchin. I'm a artisan community manager, and today we're gonna talk about how to import Clo3D animations into Blender. I assume you already created animation in Clo3D. If you are not sure how to create animation in Clo3D, I recommend you to check out Clo3D's official YouTube channel. And today I'm going to introduce you my method of exporting and importing animation from Clo to Blender. So first of all, you want to animate your garment in Clo 3D. I've already animated my garment here, and this is the animation panel. If you look at the timeline, you have a transition from frame 0 to frame 30. This is basically from a T pose to your animated pose. From frame 0 to frame 30, we don't really need it. So what I would do, I would go to start and put here as frame 30. So make sure that um, uh, when I export this animation out, it will be from frame 30 to frame 101, which will be the complete animation without the transition. And let's preview it. Perfect. Everything looks good. It's in loop. Uh, and I will hide the avatar for now. I will only export the animation of the garment. There are two simple steps on exporting your animation from Clo. Uh, so first of all, you want to export your garments as OBJ. And later on, we are going to export our MDD file. MDD file is basically animation data that assigned to this object. So let's start with exporting the object OBJ file. So what I will do, I will go to simulation. Uh, in the simulation panel, I will highlight everything and go to file, export, and export OBJ. I'm going to just create a name. I'll just name it OBJ. Let's select save. One thing very important, I mentioned about it. UV map is very important for you to have the correct texture and the correct UV when you import it into Blender or any other softwares. If you see your patterns, uh, all over the place, you will need to arrange them in a box nicely. Once you make sure your UV is correctly aligned in the box, we can now go ahead and look at our export settings. In the object panel, you don't really need to change much. So everything here, it looks fine. Select all patterns, uh, single objects, unweld, and thin material, everything looks okay. In the unified UV maps here, I would always check this option. The bigger the pixel, the better the quality for your texture maps. If you would like to export your color map and normal map, I would check these two boxes. And the basics here, very important. I would always recommend you to uh, set your scale settings to meter. Meter is a decent size when you import into Blender or any other softwares. And also because we're exporting another MDD file later on, so you will need to make sure both of the settings are set to meters. And the rest of this, you don't need to change anything. So everything's OK. We can click OK. Once we're done with exporting our OBJs, we can go ahead and now export our MDD file, which is the animation data. So we can go to File and Export and go to MDD Cache. This is the option I normally go for. And let's just give a name. I'm just name it MDD. It's easier for me to differentiate later on when I export it. Okay, let's select Save replace it again we have the setting panels we don't have to change anything here so everything here was fine remember to check unified uv maps here but because we've already exported our color maps and normal maps so i'm gonna uncheck this and in the basic panel here scale i will set to meter same scale as our obj export so i'm gonna set to meter so in the animation setting here it's automatic select Play regions only. It only exports your animation from frame 30 to frame 101. It's because I didn't want to export that 30 frame transition uh, into our Blender. And everything looks OK. Let's select OK and export our MDD cache file. Now we can finally open our Blender and start importing our animations and OBJs into our Blender. So let me just delete this cube, this camera, and this light, and we can start from zero. First step is to import our OBJ file that we did at the first. So let's go to uh, Wavefront OBJ. 
So we have our OBJ. There is a very important point you need to remember is to go to our geometry here and make sure to select keep word order. Your MDD cache file will only work with this option selected. Now everything looks good. Let's import our OBJ. You can see our OBJ is in the panel now. Go to rendered view. Let's just add a light. OBJ file has already imported into our Blender. As you can see here right now, we don't have any animation. We need to highlight this object, this garment. I like it. We need to go to our file and go to import and find our mdd file the thing is you you can't really find importing options for mdd that's because by default blender does not give you that option you need to select that option in the preference panel go to edit and go to preference in the preference panel you can see add-ons and we just need to search mdd and you can see mdd export import options here and we just need to highlight it check it Perfect. And go to File, Import, and import our MDD file. We don't have to do any changes here. Let's just import MDD. Perfect. Now, if you look at our timeline, you have these keyframes highlighted. The thing is, when you go through the timeline, you will notice that your object is being mirrored and it's being reversed to the back. But when you look at the frame zero, it is correct. The last frame is correct too. It's just the, the frame in between. I will delete the frame zero and the last frame. So delete it. And uh, I will go to my start. Start frame one and end frame 72. And now when you play your animation, it looks perfectly smooth. With this particular method, your object has been reversed and mirrored. So what I will do is I will just uh, rotate it by 180 degrees. So it's facing front. And next, I will mirror it on the X global. So now everything looks just perfect. Let me just go to the render view. And you have this beautiful animation ready in Blender. Okay, so this is everything you need to know to import and export your animation from Close3D into Blender. I hope you find it useful. And I will see you in the next session.